Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program ep Season 2, Episode 2. I built this rocket. Our goal, I hope it stands here, our goal is to set the altitude record and escape the atmosphere. So that's what we are going for. So in 3, 2, 1, let's fire. Ready, Jebediah? Oh yeah, I already counted. 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing's got lots of power. Lots of power. And unlike most um, vanilla versions, I'm going to start tipping over right away. Just because I want to get away from the space, the space center. If anything happens, I don't want any parts falling down on top of the, any of the buildings, the rocket pad, nothing. We are going to get ourselves over the ocean. It doesn't hurt to tip it over anyways. Uh, I haven't decided how efficient I want to do this. We just got to escape, you know, 70,000. We might be able to put it into orbit. I don't know. I don't think I have enough fuel though. And here I've been so used to the uh, aerodynamics that we've been using with FAR. It seems a little odd to me. Fire the second stage here. How are we doing? We might want to start tipping up. Because we need to get that apoapsis, apoapsis up in the air. We got to get that above 70,000. Because we need to break the atmosphere for this contract. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, we got a contract? Oh, we did break the altitude. Okay, we're looking much better. We're looking much better. Fuel is doing really good. Right, I'm gonna tip it back over. We're not we don't have enough to make orbit, I'll tell you that much. That will get us in the atmosphere. Or out of the atmosphere into space. We should be up in the upper atmosphere. Let me roll this over so I can see what's going on. Let's take a crew report. Uh, Jeb, you should be able to EVA. Oh, really? Sorry, bud, but you cannot EVA right now. Well, that means I'm not going to be able to take really any, uh, any science back other than just that one. Well, that's that's that is interesting. I did not know that was in the uh, in the career mode here. That is kind of cool. And you'll see here our other contract is going to finish here really really soon. We hit sixty nine six or something like that. Seventy is just the generic one, but you'll see here. The music will start up. There we go. We are in space. Awesome. I think we can put it in orbit. I want to know how close I can get to orbit with this thing. Because one of our next contracts will be to probably put one in orbit. Right there. Not that well. If you look at this, we're only about 600, maybe 550 delta V away. So uh, we're not that far off. We have plenty of power on that first stage, so it'd be very easy to put a little more fuel in the second stage, a little bit more fuel in the first stage, and we should be able to get to orbit real easily. 
All right, Jeb, you are coming back down in. How are we doing on electrical charge? Well, we got some funds here. Electrical charge is fine. Start burning our way into the atmosphere. Oh, I know, Jeb, you are having just the time of your life. Okay, we're going to start hitting the atmosphere here, so I'm going to eject the bottom stage. We've got just a capsule now. Take off the SAS. Don't need it. Our stage is disappearing in a hurry. Coming down, nice re-entry effects. Ooh, look at that heat shield. We are going to splash down. Let's see, somewhere around here, we're going to slow her down. Maybe around 2,000 meters, we'll pop the chute. Speed it up a little bit. Don't want to go past 500, though. There's our chute. Our other piece must have just splashed down. And we'll bring them on down. Now I've been highly contemplating for this playthrough. I know I said I was going to do it vanilla style, but I am considering adding a couple mods. I know it won't be vanilla, but here's here's my idea. Um, Okay, you buddy can get out now. Cool. I want you to do an EVA report. Flying over Kerbin's waters. I want you to store it. Then I want you to Not bad, not bad. I don't think a space shoot was entirely necessary. No, I don't think so either. Can you not take a... You can't take surface samples? Well, apparently that is not allowed either. I did not know that was not allowed. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's recover it. Uh, Mod-wise. Um, Kerbal Engineer, just for statistics, I was looking at doing that. Let's see parts, we got back a little bit. Crew, oh, you didn't get any XP gain. Sorry, bud. And then I was thinking of putting on Eve, which is the uh, uh, visual effects or visual enhancements. What is uh -huh. it? Or wait, that's Mission Control Astronaut Complex, which is. Right here? No, that's administration. That's R and D. Why am I clueless here? Oh, it is right here. Hundred and five thousand. The upgrade. I wish I could do that. Okay, so we're gonna have to instead go back here. What do we have for? We have an orbit. I figured that we get a whole lot of money. I think we need to do that one. Let's see, in flight. Actually, we can do this one, although it's not going to gain us much. 
trying to see if I can test one of these. So we don't get much money for these at all. That one gets nets us quite a bit. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna do this one. It's simple. I'll test it. I'll leave some fuel in the engine so that we can, uh, or in the tank, so that we can come back down and test this. All right, so let me build a rocket quick, and actually, actually, I should be able to do this really quick here. Uh, let's pull this tank off. We're going to put the bigger tank in. And then I'm going to stick one more of these guys in here. And let's see. Should be able to delete this one. Oh, delete and delete. Uh, info. We're well within our limits. I don't have anything in aerodynamic. Oh, by the way, I found something out here. Notice I didn't buy this part yet. You can purchase it straight here. You don't have to go to the uh, research and development. You can buy stuff right here. So let's see. I got Jeb in there. Perfect. Let's launch. Actually, I really should check my staging. I have a feeling my staging is not right. Nope, that'll all work. Three, two, one. Lift off. Much slower launch. Start doing a little bit of our tipping. I do have to be careful with this engine because this is a non-vectoring meaning that the, the nozzle cannot tip, so I have no steering from this engine. All I have for steering is the upper capsule. So you do have to be quite careful. You can tip the sucker over really quickly. Yeah, I think I could use some clouds and stuff. That's why I'm thinking about doing that. But that'd be the only two things I would add would be the uh, visual enhancements, and Kerbal Engineer. So if you guys have an idea of, of you know, maybe should I do that, um, leave me a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. There might be some opposition to having Kerbal Engineer on there, but uh, it's easier for me for a Let's Play. Instead of having to mess around with going back and forth here, um, you know, you can just watch me, you know, take the rocket up, basically. And I can use my numbers on the side here uh, to account for everything. I have a feeling that I'm not going to, not doing a very good job here. Mostly because I'm used to running with FAR. Actually, we're not looking too bad here. Apoapsis is climbing, which it should be. losing speed. I think I need to get the next thing for tracking or something here because I can't see time to apoapsis. I noticed that. I'm going to leave this up here just so I can see fuel levels. We should be okay though. I'm just going to start bringing this down a little bit. I should be able to fly it from here pretty much and I can see how quickly I'm getting here. There's still that sound artifact in the background there of like an engine exploding. Um, that's been in there for many, many versions of Kerbal Space Program and it's just something that you can't, uh, you just can't seem to get rid of. So we just kind of accept it and, you know, that's just how it is. So we should be getting some horizontal speed here going pretty good. We're still picking up speed. Our actual height is 42. So how is that in the atmosphere? We are climbing up out of the atmosphere. Good. This is looking pretty good. Might slow it down just a touch because our apoapsis is getting away from us. 
We don't need to chase it down quite so quickly. We are watching fuel. I might just ride this out here, get the apoapsis above 70,000 and just wait. This is actually going to be a pretty good first run at the orbit. We'll go 73, 74 there. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let's speed this up a little bit. We should have plenty of fuel. You can see here when you look on the contracts, you'll see that these two guys here are checked, meaning that we got those two, but these two are not, meaning that they is, we do not have the ability to test it. Now that we've reached space, we are not flying anymore. So you'll see that part disappeared. This one, however, is not listed because, uh, let's see, there we go. Achieve orbit around Kerbin. So let's do that. Shall I need a little bit here? We are not doing so well here. So let's speed up to our apoapsis again. Bring her back over. Throttle up. We just got to get enough to get into space. There we go. Achieve orbit. We just nailed it. Perfect. And how much fuel do we have left? Eh, decent amount. Awesome. So let's zip over here. Let's try and bring this thing down. At least close to the space center. I'm going to come right about here. Start slowing it down. Get the periapsis down to oh about there. How's that look? Yeah, I like that. Let's see how close we get. We just broke into the atmosphere. So this time around, I am going to keep the engine on because we need to watch this guy right here. So we have the Kerbin, and we have flying. We got to get below 10.6 for an altitude, and we have to be going less than 590 meters per second, but more than 290. And at that point, we fire the engine because we have the LV-909 right here. It's that really awesome caldera that we have. You know what? I think I messed this up. We Right here is the Space Center. I have a feeling we're going to end up somewhere over here. Because somebody did not do this right. But we'll find out. All right, Jeb. Ooh, we have enough money. Good. I want to be able to do EVA, so we're going to want to upgrade that one, I think, first. The other ones, I think we can handle. Um, wait. Should start seeing re-entry effects right about when we get close to here. Still at full time warp. Oh, we are going to get over the water here. Oh, never mind. That water. We're going to splash down right over there. We are getting re entry effects. We're at 29,000. We are starting to slow down. We need to slow down a bunch. We need to get below 590. We are hurtling, hurtling towards the surface.
Now there is the possibility that it needs to actually like be staged. That I'm not sure. If that's the case, then well we're just gonna have to do that contract at a different on a different launch. We are coming down in speed in a hurry. Altitude is dropping. We have hit speed. We need to watch here because once we hit the right altitude, we need to fire again because if we get below 290 here, we are in trouble. Right there. Nope, you know what? It needs to be staged. Yep. So. No can do. We're going to have to do that at a different time. No big deal. Sorry, Jeb, let's land. We'll, uh, we'll get what we can here. We're going to go check out what we can unlock with the science we've earned. I'm not going to be able to take a surface sample or anything like that here. The EVA report doesn't really matter. Uh, crew report might work. All right, 3.2 sounds good to me. It's a little bit. Splash down here. All right, let's recover. So what do we get? We're up to 73 science. Cool. Parts, 74% value because of how far away we were. And he advanced to level one. We have 292 reputation. Nice. So I think, let's see. This one is much too expensive. Patched conics visible on map. Oh, that means we're going to be flying blind to the moon if we don't get that one upgraded. Or, you know, this one we can put in some action groups and we can put in a whole lot of max parts. We basically unlock it. Wow. Same thing there. This one we get seven active credits and oh, we need track. Oh, a tracking station has to be upgraded. Okay. This one just increases our weight and size. This one's cheap. And this one we can do. So I think we're going to upgrade this. And we just lost a bunch of our money. So now this next upgrade. Let's see. Unlimited active kerbals. So if uh, there's three levels then. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I just realized it's only 48,000 to upgrade this, but we need the other. So, what can we do? Yeah, explore the moon. Whew. That's a lot. So what I might have to do here is do some of these other smaller ones until we get some other uh, in the background here, especially so that we can unlock more at one time. Um, so maybe next time we'll just do a bunch of these guys. Uh, let's quick check this out. Let's see, we have 73 science. Is there anything important here? Science tech batteries, that's big. And the science junior for more science. And a comm satellite. 45. I think we got to do this. See, what I'm looking for is this, our first solar panel, which is important. We need 90 science for that. So I might, I'm going to save up the rest of my science so that we can get this because we want this solar panel. Uh, in here, we want the batteries. We want this. And, um,. I think we'll research this too. Whew. That's why we're gonna have to do some simple stuff. Back here, we only did that one. We don't need those guys and we got all that. All right, 
All right, guys, we made it a little bit further in our career. We're slowly becoming seasoned Kerbal Knots. We'll delete that. Actually, what I want to do quick. Um, now he provides assistance in flying the vessel. Oh, he has prograde retrograde hold. Okay, we'll show you guys that next time. This is what. It's really neat what that is able to do. Each level increases even more. So that guys, thanks for watching. We got a sunset. Nice. And as always, take it easy.